Are you planning a trip to Croatia? Welcome to the Journey channel! In today's video, we're taking you on a journey to discover the top 10 best places to visit in this stunning country, located on the eastern side of the Adriatic Sea. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel content and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. From ancient Roman ruins and beautiful beaches to rich history and culture and stunning national parks, Croatia has something for everyone. Get ready to be inspired and fall in love with this amazing country. So, these are some of the best places to visit in Croatia. Number 10 on our list is Brigini National Park, a stunning national park located on a Brigini island off the coast of Croatia. Brigini National Park is known for its beautiful beaches, crystal clear waters, and rich flora and fauna. In Brigini National Park, you can visit the Veliki Brigini, the largest island in the park, where you can see the remnants of a Roman villa and go golfing or horseback riding. You can also visit the Brigini Safari Park, where you can see a variety of animals such as giraffes, zebras, and antelopes. Number 9 on our list is Zagreb, the capital and largest city of Croatia. Known for its beautiful parks, rich history and culture, and lively nightlife. Zagreb is home to the Zagreb Cathedral, a Gothic-style cathedral built in the 13th century, and the Museum of Broken Relationships, a unique museum dedicated to failed relationships. In Zagreb, you can also visit the Mirogoj Cemetery, a stunning cemetery with a beautiful neoclassical arcade, or go skiing or snowboarding in one of the many ski resorts in the surrounding region. Number 8 on our list is Pula, a city located in the south of Croatia known for its ancient Roman ruins, beautiful beaches, and lively nightlife. Pula is home to the Pula Arena, a well-preserved amphitheater built in the 1st century AD, and the Temple of Augustus, a Roman temple dedicated to the Roman Emperor Augustus. In Pula, you can also visit the Pula Archaeological Museum, where you can learn about the history of Pula and the surrounding region and go windsurfing or kite surfing in one of the many beaches in the area. Number 7 on our list is Rovinj, a city located on the western coast of Croatia, known for its beautiful beaches, charming old town, and picturesque harbor. Rovinj is home to the Church of St. Euphemia, a Baroque-style court church with a distinctive bell tower and the Rovinj Heritage Museum, where you can learn about the history and culture of Rovinj. In Ravinj, you can also visit the Ravinj Aquarium, where you can see a variety of marine life and go hiking or biking in the surrounding countryside. Number 6 on our list is Korchula, an island located in the Adriatic Sea known for its beautiful beaches, crystal clear waters, and rich history and culture. Korchula is home to the Korchula Old Town, a well-preserved medieval town surrounded by walls and a Marco Polo house, a museum dedicated to Marco Polo, the famous Phoenician explorer who was born in Korchula. In Korchula, you can also visit the Korchula Museum, where you can learn about the history and the culture of the island, and go scuba diving or snorkeling in the crystal clear waters of the Adriatic Sea. In addition to these attractions, Korchula is also known for its delicious cuisine with dishes such as pasticada, a stew made with lamb. You can also try the local wines such as Ligurk, a white wine made with local grape variety and the Plav of Mali, a red wine made with the same grape variety.
Number five on our list is Zadar, a city located on the Dalmatian coast, known for its beautiful beaches, rich history and culture, and unique attractions. Zadar is home to the Church of St. Donatus, a 9th century church built in the Romanesque style. And the Zadar Archaeological Museum, where you can learn about the history of Zadar and the surrounding region. In Sadar, you can also visit the sea organ, a musical instrument played by the sea, and the sun salutation, a solar-powered installation that creates a light show at sunset. Number 4 on our list is Far, an island located in the Adriatic Sea known for its beautiful beaches, crystal clear waters, and rich history and culture. Var is home to the Var Fortress, a medieval castle located on a hill overlooking the town, and the St. Stephen's Cathedral, a beautiful Renaissance cathedral built in the 16th century. In Var, you can also visit the Var Gallery, a museum dedicated to Croatian art, and go wine tasting in one of the many fine yards on the island. Number 3 on our list is Split. A city located on the Dalmatian coast, known for its ancient Roman ruins, beautiful beaches, and vibrant nightlife. Split is home to the Diocletian's Place, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, built by the Roman Emperor Diocletian in the 4th century AD. In Split, you can also visit the Cathedral of St. Dominius, oldest cathedral in the world, and walk along the river, the main promenade in Split where you can enjoy a coffee or a drink at one of the many cafes and bars. Number two on our list is Split Feast Lakes National Park, a stunning national park located in central of Croatia. Known for its waterfalls, lakes, and forests, Split Feast Lakes is a paradise for nature lovers. With its 16 interconnected lakes surrounded by forests and its numerous waterfalls, including the Great Waterfall, the highest waterfall in Croatia. In Plitvis Lakes, you can also visit the Bear Sanctuary, where you can learn about the Croatian brown bear and go hiking or rafting. Number one on our list is Dubrovnik, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the south of Croatia. Dubrovnik is known for its well-preserved old town surrounded by ancient walls and its beautiful beaches, such as Banja Beach and Sveti Jakov Beach. In Dubrovnik, you can also visit the Francisca Monastery and its pharmacy, or walk along the Stradon, the main street in the old town. I hope you enjoyed this journey through the top 10 best places to visit in Croatia. From Dubrovnik and Plitsis Lake National Park to Split and Var and Zadar and Korsula, there are so many amazing destinations to discover in this beautiful country. Whether you're a history buff, a nature lover, or just looking for a relaxing beach vacation, Croatia has something for everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to the Journeying channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. We have many more exciting destinations to explore, so make sure to watch our other videos and join us on our journey around the world. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye!